Eight months ago, riding a bike would have been impossible for six-year-old Sajad. He lost his sight when a bomb went off next to his home in Afghanistan. They said him and his sister and brother went to the hospital, and only he came back. Come on, sit. Since January, Sajad has been staying with Muntazir Somji and his family in their Mooresville, North Carolina home. Sajad was blinded by shards of glass that pierced his eyes and face. His desperate father took him to Kabul, where he'd heard an American organization called Solace for the Children could provide medical help. Executive Director Patsy Wilson was there when Sajad arrived. He was in such pain, uh, and his father was so distraught, as any father would be. What did Sajad's father say to you? Please help my son. Wilson arranged for surgeons in the U.S. to operate on Sajad. The Somjis agreed to have the boy stay with them through his recovery. He had to feel the house. He had to find where he, spot, where he was going. Sometimes you'd be amazed. You knew he couldn't see, but he could run around the house. Soon after his arrival, Sajad underwent eye surgery to restore his sight. He came out and saw the mirror, and suddenly he said, two Sajads. So, <laughs> so at that time, I knew that he um, has some vision now. What did you think when he said that? <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, so my first thought was, <laughs> we can tell his parents that something's better. Slowly, Sajad began to rediscover the world around him. I almost got it. He progressed so well that this summer he's attending camp, swimming, and playing sports. A third surgery is scheduled to take place this month. He will likely go home to Afghanistan in October. It'll take a lot of adjustment. When he leaves, it'll be quieter. You'll miss that? I will miss it. I will definitely miss it. The departure will be bittersweet, but Sajad will leave having seen how love from strangers can change a life. Let's go. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Mooresville, North Carolina.